When last week we didn't see any moves on the five-year loan prime rate on mortgages, we're scratching our heads going, what's going on? And we now may be seeing more targeted measures. Yeah, that's right. This is this is what we're hearing essentially. So a Bloomberg exclusive, as you say, but but about 90 percent of home loans in China could be impacted by this. So uh, quite big in the sense that it's going to impact a lot of people. But still, it is that debate, as you were saying, just as what we had with a loan prime rate decision last week. It's really about uh, investors trying to understand how meaningful any sort of action or lack of action in China is going to be. So in terms of the details of this, so China banks, they're expected to cut rates on existing home loans. Loans, and that's going to be achieved by trimming the premium on the reference rate. So in China, floating interest rates, they're typically set at a premium to the five-year LPR, uh, which has been the reference rate for mortgages since well, August 2020 it was announced, or 2019 it was announced rather, and implemented over the course of about a year. Uh, so trimming that premium is most likely going to be benefiting mortgages or mortgage holders that were contracted before the housing round started at the end of 2021. So uh, we're still unclear as to the exact size of the reduction, but we do understand from sources that it could be imminent and it, that it's also going to be applying only to uh, first home buyers. So that's that's one step that we're hearing about. And then the other that was also discussed in our exclusive report was that China banks could cut deposit rates. So that would be for the third time this year. Uh, it could be across key tenors by between 15 and 20 basis points. Lower deposit rates, that's going to really help lenders at least protect their margins because they're going to be lowering or expected to lower rates for home buyers as well. But the big question, of course, is if it's going to be meaningfully propping up sentiment here. And we can get more reaction on that later in the hour. There are other signs of financial stress in China. Yeah, I mean, Heidi, every day we have a new sign of financial stress that's popping up in China, but the latest one just coming in overnight, and this is revolving around a key investor in Zhongrong International, which is the trust firm that's really considered to be at the heart of China's shadow banking crisis. Now, we understand that uh, the key investor, this is Jingwei Textile Machinery Co., it's planning to delist its shares. That was what it put forward in a filing to the Shenzhen Stock Exchange yesterday. The company, why? Why exactly is proposing to do this or, or pushing ahead with doing this? They're citing market changes for the move, also significant uncertainties. Now, they didn't make any sort of reference to Zhongrong International in there, but we do understand that Jingwei does rank as a top shareholder of that shadow bank with a, a just around a 37% stake in it. So it's a very rare move to come across from what is a, a central bank or a central government bank backed enterprise, but it does really tell us just how significant these concerns still are about financial contagion within China. And really much of the issues in China stemming from the property sector, which is huge, right? Whether it's for the broader macro economy or for household wealth, what's going on right now? Any improvements? Well, really, it's just continuing to push the can down the road a little bit in that sense because we're not seeing any defaults just yet. We're really starting to see or seeing more uh, developers pushing ahead with these plans to delay their payments. So uh, Country Garden is another developer that's really been, again, at the heart of these issues. It is or once was one of the biggest inside China. It's now around the sixth largest by sales. But essentially, they've requested to add a 40-calendar-day grace period to a maturing yuan bond. So just another indication to us of, of its liquidity struggles. But uh, Country Garden also in focus because we're expecting its earnings due later today. And we are also predicting a huge loss for the first half. Uh, of course, its debt woes have really uh, caused further distress and that contagion risk, as I was discussing, to the broader economy in China.